I've had this mouse for just over three years. I know because it's out of warranty. And when I would click, sometimes it would double click and I would click to drag and it wouldn't work. So this is how I fixed my mouse as a micro switch. This is on the Logitech Performance MX mouse. Uh, currently they're top of the line. So as you can see, it's the Logitech mouse. Uh, this is the bottom. I've already started, I've pretty much taken off all the back panels. Before you start, turn off the mouse and take off the battery if you're paranoid. Unlike me, if you can, these pads should come off in one piece, not in two pieces like I did. Right here you can see that as I'm putting it back together, I actually took it apart in two pieces and then you have to put it back on in separate pieces and it's just not as sticky as you would hope, but hopefully it should still work for you. There are four screws on the bottom. You can undo all of those. Two on the back toward the bottom, and two on the top, after all the pads are off. As you can see, there's a little notch, that's the only notch in the framing of it, and you just kind of slide it towards the outside as you peel the top away from the bottom. So there's a picture of both inside and outside as it fits together. Once you pull the top off, you'll see that the thumb button is connected via some wires on the back of the board there. Optionally, if you want, you can pull those wires out. You can see that it just slips out the back. That's the reverse of me putting it back in. So once you have that, here is the mouse with the top separated. You can work with it easily. You'll notice that there are two micro switches on the front. These are what control the clicks. So to take that part off, you simply stick, I put a fine knife in the edge, and you can see you can bend it out, and then it'll just pop off the top. But before you do, just a quick little trick. I'm going to put it back on here. All I did was I took a piece of electrical tape, and I stuck it on the top. That way, when I flip it off and take it apart, that little white piece actually stays in so you don't have to lose it in the carpet or anything you can actually just take it apart and then slip it right back on so that little metal piece that you see in that micro switch that's usually what goes bad in it you can try to straighten the spring what you need to do is straighten it so that you get a clean click as you can hear here so you just flatten that piece out which will give you a better spring a couple of pictures you can see how to put it back on hopefully it doesn't fall off and you can see how to put it back together there's a little diagram you can pause and watch how to put it back together so once you have that flattened out and you have that piece back on as it slips around the middle there you simply slip that little cover back on it should click into place you can take your tape off and then you should get a really clean, springy click. Just like that. And if you'd like to replace those micro switches, I know you can currently buy two of those online for like eight bucks. Does require some soldering. Please like and subscribe.